One of my most important jobs as a teacher is to develop the relationship between my students' parents and myself. One way that I do that is by sending home positive, encouraging notes about their student each week. And so one way is that I send home a little piece of paper, just a half sheet of paper, could be on a note card if you'd like, and it just says, sending smiles. And I might name their child and I'll say, they um, put a smile on my face this week by just giving random examples. It could be academic by something they worked really, really hard at. It might be something behavioral, like I really um, appreciated Olivia helping her classmates or her table mates out by helping clean up that caddy. Something as simple as that lets the parent know that the teacher is, is looking and watching and paying attention to their child. And as a parent myself, I know that it matters that um, uh, if I know those teachers are caring about my child individually, then I feel more invested as a parent. And so building a parent-teacher relationship is so key. Another way that you can do that, many of us use technology. And so you could send a little video message home. Um, many of us use apps that we can video message parents on, or even just a simple text home um, saying something the child did positive that day so that when we do have our parent-teacher conferences or we do have to email home or call home with something that's not so positive, the blow isn't quite as hard or the information isn't quite as negative because we have already built up their child and sent home positive messages. So we wanna make sure that we're sending just as many positives home as um, those concerns that sometimes we have to bring up or the hard news that we have to tell parents at parent-teacher conferences. So I encourage you to build that parent-teacher relationship. It will prove to pay off in the long run. Try this in your classroom today.